Am I the a-hole for telling my sister her diet isn't my problem? I, 24, I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant. Before people ask, no, it wasn't a planned pregnancy. But me and my boyfriend have a house, stable income, etc. And we are fully prepared for our baby. We have been planning to do a small gender reveal for a while with close family and friends, but we were waiting for my sister, 22, to get back from her month-long holiday in the US. We have had everything planned to make it a fun celebration for us, especially because I have struggled with my mental health since I was a teenager and we want to turn the pregnancy into a positive thing for me. My parents are pretty well off and as a graduating present for my sister, they gave her a couple of thousand pounds to spend on a holiday. They did the same for me. I went backpacking around Europe with my friends. She is very spiritual and is vegan, which I have always been more than happy to cater for. She spent the money on a yoga retreat in California. We scheduled the party for a week afterwards so she could make it and for the food, my mom and my boyfriend's dad did a barbecue in the garden. A few of my friends are vegetarians so we had a separate cooker going with vegan hot dogs and burgers. We had a big gender reveal cake so I bought my sister a pack of vegan cupcakes I found, all of which my sister okayed before she left. When she came back from her yoga retreat, I didn't hear much from her. Jet lag, lol. But two days before the party, she messaged me asking about the vegan options. I sent her a photo of the food she previously agreed and their ingredients, and she messaged me back saying that she had a new diet she was introduced to at her retreat. I'm not sure of all the details, but she no longer eats processed foods and only eats from organic companies and or from scratch. I was a bit annoyed at the short notice, but I asked what kind of stuff I could get her instead since I didn't want to leave her out. She sent me a few pictures of food I could get her in our local food shop and I went to check them out that afternoon. They were really expensive, 35 pounds for vegetable crisps, burgers, oat cookies, and we've already spent hundreds of pounds on the party. So I sent her a polite apologetic message saying that I wouldn't be able to buy her the food she requested because it was out of our budget, but I told her she was more than welcome to bring her own food to the party. She messaged me back calling me rude names and saying that I am a terrible sister for not including her dietary needs. How selfish are you to be? Like, just buy it. Their parents are well off. I'm sure she's well off too. She could just... Just... I am frustrated when people are so selfish. This set off my angry pregnancy hormones, lol, and I messaged her saying that her new diet isn't my problem and she should accept the food she already advised me to buy for her. In hindsight, I know it sounds rude and I feel terrible. No, it's just the truth. You're just spitting facts and she needs to accept it. She didn't come to the party, which upsets me a lot as we've always been close. We had a great time, we're having a baby girl, but I feel like I'm an a-hole for not including her. Am I the asshole? No, you're not. Your sister is simply very, very selfish, and you're pregnant, you have stuff to take care of. She should be accommodating you as a sister, being happy for you. There's no reason for her to want you to go like in depth for like random organic things that she could just buy. And the fact that she already agreed to stuff that you went out of your way to get for her, then she changed her mind short notice and just assumes that you would... This is just selfishness. She's the asshole. Sorry, you have to deal with this. I hope your pregnancy goes well. Let's see what other people have to say. Not the asshole. They are not her dietary needs. They are her dietary choices. She okayed the food before she left and is only just getting in touch to tell you about the changes. So this is all on her. Yep. There's no need there. Not the asshole. She sounds exhausting. She does. Like, what is this? If you have a special or uncommon dietary requirement, you should always offer to bring your own food. Yeah, like one of my nieces is allergic to anything dairy and the school is like, you figure out lunch for her. It sucks because it's more work for the parents, but it makes sense. So I don't understand how a grown adult would not be able to take care of herself like that. It just makes no sense. It's just selfishness. She's the asshole, not you. Hey, hey, don't forget to subscribe.